Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. Now I know you guys have been waiting a long time, I think it's almost been a month, but I'm finally back, I'm gonna try to get back on schedule now that, you know, things have finally settled down, Borderlands has gotten its week of Borderlands thing through, you know, I've gotten a lot of stuff on my plate somewhat squared away, but now I do have a lot more time available for me to record, so I will be recording in very large batches starting Monday so there won't be any problems with things being uploaded on time and so on and so forth I will be returning back to the uploading and everything going up at 215 220 kind of schedule so that way everything goes back on track so with that in mind what we're gonna do today is take on this side mission of sorts see what's going on because this guy said he needed help we've been fighting the Shinra for a long time on this battlefield we've settled in for a long war with them could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something first, why don't you finish that? Let's go help them. Really? Then go on up and they'll fill you in on the details. Yeah, I know we gotta get to Junon Harbor, but I'd rather do this. Alright, so... Let's climb up the rope. Alright, we're here. I just climb up this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Now this is something. I never thought someone would climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You better get down before you get involved. What do you mean, a battlefield? Oh god, that voice. Ugh the Shinra. It appears you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? A huge bird. The reactor and the condor. And that's right. On that mountain is a condor and a reactor. It seems that the Shinra don't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Why? It's not very logical. It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the condor came, the Shinra troops rushed here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off the mountain. The condor is now warming its egg, which hatches only once every few years. We'd like to protect the condor from being harmed. New lives. We must protect the condor egg, right? So, to protect the egg, are you gonna protect the reactor? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. And that's why we've hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside us. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? Cloud, what are you still worrying about it? You decide what we're going to do. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes, let's do our best. Right, let me lend a hand too. Alright, so we're going to fight Shinra. But before we do, I want to go... Uh, why isn't it? There we go. I wish to hit up the save point. Let's rest, okay? Yeah, let's get some rest. Awesome! Fully healed for free! And away we go. Alrighty, up this thing. I don't know which way it is, so let's find out. What's this way? Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Alright, what are you? Do your best, we will too. Ooh, materia, you say? I have one of each, right? Yeah. What can I sell? I'll sell some of my ethers. much else I really need to sell here. some phoenix downs. Definitely not that many. I think five is enough. 
just in case. I'll buy 20 potions. Got hyper. I'm gonna buy not that many tents. No. Five tents ought to do it. Alright, there we go. I should be all stocked up and ready to go. Alright, so let's see what's going on. If I just... No. Cloud, don't do that. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Thanks for accepting. So, shall I let you in on our strategy? The enemy has targeted our mountain reactor and we will be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire the soldiers to protect in place. Well, this is all we have. This village doesn't even have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20 soldiers, we need 8,000. We need to ask you to use your own money, hire these soldiers by the equipment, instead of other commands. We don't have the time. We the money, we can hire him, box and attack, and we're asking selfish, so we can get the bases. I don't know if the inner world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now then, is there anything you can do? Conditions for victory. You can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander. If the enemy reaches the shed, they'll attack, and you have no choice but die immediately. If you lose during direct contact, even if the enemy gets the reactor, there's still a chance to win. Only a slight chance, we have no idea how much the reactor can endure in an attack. You can't defend any attack. As long as you don't take our lives, the Connor, and all the material. Oh, boy. The enemy. There are four types of enemies. Wyverns, beasts, barbarians, and commanders. Flying types move at high speed. The stoner and tristaner aren't effective against them. They do not move quickly, but have an explosive attacking power. I need to write this down. Hold on. <laughs> barbarians are human types. They attack from a distance, so you've got to be on your toes. So barbarians are ranged. Commanders. Commanders are the enemy commanders. They are the ones who want to subdue, but they're formidable foes. Oh, so that's it? Just commanders are the leaders. Man, they, they do not give you much information. These guys are the leaders. Anything else? No, there's anything much in this one. Types of soldiers. We got fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. We got fighter. Attacker. Defense. Repair. Shooter. And worker. Your mobile ally. So these are mobile. Mobile units. Stoner, Tri Stoner, the Catapult, and the Fire Catapult. All right. What do you want to hear about? Mobile types? Jesus, there's so much information here. Especially effective or deficient against any. These guys are definitely attacker defense. Attackers is in the name, extremely fast, best for expanding frontline. They work good against beasts, but not barbarians. Beasts? But X against barbarians. So the defenders are probably good against the barbarians, but not the beasts. Ah, they're good against barbarians. But not wyverns. Alright, shooters. Good against wyverns. But not beasts. Beast. Alright, so what about repair? 
repair and workers. Ally units, little attacking power. Workers set mines. Mines have attacking power. These guys just drop mines. Okay, what about the immobile units? Stoners can fire a single boulder. Try stoners can fire three boulders. Can't use the fire because they're still not ready. Oh, okay, so I can't use that anyway. Alright, anything else? What do you want to hear about? Nothing. Uh, funding. We have 15,000 go right now. We need 3,000 for each battle. How much can we help with? 5,000? We're very grateful we don't have any money. 5,000. 3,000. That means 18,000 go. We're very grateful we don't have enough money. We have a thousand, thanks. This makes nineteen. A thousand, we're very grateful, okay. Nada. First off, I must press true. So we press the X mark and then press OK. After all in position, press cancel, starts the battle. So it's gonna be arranged near the shed in the beginning, that's because it's so it's too far away, they won't be able to bond structure the level social. There's only at the very bottom, pushing assists, so the commands are unclear. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna attempt this. Hey, look, they're getting ready to attack now. Please, any help is appreciated. Preparations. Let them handle it. Okay, ready? How money could you at least make it for a thousand gil? What do you mean? I can't give you any more money. I literally cannot give you any more money. Alright, that was pretty shot, I guess. Preparations? Okay, ready. You have ten enemies. They appear to be many beasts, so you may want to apply more attackers. Okay. That units. I did not mean to put fighters in there, but whatever. Five attackers is fine. Alright, here we go. Combat starts. We're gonna go ahead and try to just have everyone swing on this guy. Absolute mad lads. Now, I want to have workers. Set a bomb over here. Actually, I like. I just set the bomb right there. Someone better bust the bomb. Here we 
There we go. Oh, you only do 12 damage. Oh, you fool. You proud fool. damage per hit to this guy's 60. Oh, 15. Okay. He could go four times? Five, actually? Yeah. So, Commander has two HP left. Oh, do I not have any money left? Oh, I just don't have the money for it now. Oh, God. Bust the bomb. Oh man, this bomb is useless. I have the guild to spend either. Whatever. Arrives at the directed position. I just want to fight these guys, but I can't. Yes, I see the warning, but I don't have the gill for this. Note to self, if I ever attempt this, after this anyway, I just need to do this when I have the gill. I'll be here. Invasion. Here we go. Yep, we're counting on you. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Alright, it should be pretty... Oh, God, you're ugly. Should be pretty low, though. I don't know why you healing wind. That was stupid. Literally no health gain. Good job, me. At least there's an actual fight here. Man, Granhorn. See, I thought it was gonna be like I could control Cloud and Aerith and then the extra people, but no, it's just you only command the extra people, and then if the shed gets attacked, then you get to actually fight. See, that makes this feel a lot worse. All right, I'll sense you. You should be about to die, actually. No, don't poison me. Oh, fudge! I already see it. 19. Oh, what? You did not have that much health. Oh, wait, no, that's it, the commander. And he still didn't have that much health, but okay. Press flamethrower. Oh. Attack. Jesus. 
this grand attack and then it doesn't do that much damage. Whatever, you're you're basically dead. Take the bolt. Take the bonkening. Oh, here we go again with this. Just, just take the braver and die. I don't like this. I really don't. I thought this would be fun. This is a very bad side mission. Uh, Vagerous Claw? I'm not, I'm, I mean, that, that name. Oh, did I not take it? I should know be back. Scout the area while we don't know and they'll attack again. Did I not pick up the claw? I didn't pick up the claw. Okay. Alright, well, either way, guys, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, I'm probably gonna have to do this again just to get that stupid claw thing because I don't know what that is. I'll debate if it's even worth getting it. Let me look it up real quick. But next time on Final Fantasy VII, we will go ahead and find Junin Harbor because I do not like this. This this was what I thought would be good, and then it turns out it's not. It, I thought it would be fun. I lied. I was very, very, very wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. It, it's just not fun. We're we're just gonna do this at another time when uh, you know, when we get <laughs> the other the other stuff going on. Let me see. I'm actually curious to see what this Vadris claw is. Uh, one evil Vadris claw. Let's see. You can get three from the four Condor battles: Cosmo Canyon, Bag Risks. An hour, so it can be stolen once you reach a certain level. Mm, I mean, do they do anything? What does it do? What do they do? Here we go. Adds petrify status to one target. That's it? That's all it does? And I thought it was something interesting. Okay, yeah, nope, not worth coming back for that. So next time on Final Fantasy VII, guys, we will go ahead and head to Junin Harbor, and we will get, you know, the rest of the story done. I'll finish this Fort Condor stuff probably off screen, because that's that was too tedious. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. If you liked today's episode, go to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.